Hey, how's it going, man? My name is Tyrone, and I was just to say this is my first video I'm putting out here, and it's all about God. If you have the truth in you, then you know Jesus Christ is the light, the truth, the only way, the eternal life. <laughs> I could preach, but the truth is, I'd rather let you see for yourself. I heard of things called lucid dreaming and astral projections and things like that sort, but I did have a dream. I fell asleep in the living room. Very uncomfortable, so I, I probably got up like twice or something. But I do remember going through a sort of different phases, like uh, snapshots, like a slideshow, like a, a run of shows that just went really fast, but you haven't seen them, but they're commercials, kind of. And it's about you, it's not. I mean, it was about me. <laughs> I was on a boat with a bunch of people, and this boat was just crappy. I mean, it's gonna fall apart. Actually, it almost did. But before it did, I was standing against the railing towards, you know, looking towards the ocean, and out in the middle of the water. Uh, I don't want to say it was an ocean. It felt more like a lake. Like, it had boundaries, like a square, circle, I mean, not a circle, it was a square, rectangle, or something, you know? And the center was the city of Jerusalem. I want to say it was, because that's what it looked like, and that's the way I interpreted it. I saw, it looked kind of like alien slash supernatural slash everything you can think of and it looks like a city but a UFO at the same time and it's upside down but not really like close encounter yeah so I'm smoking a cigarette while I'm looking at this not even thinking that it's weird or anything and we get to this point in the dream where the boat starts to fall apart so I think there are people with me and I'm not sure what was going on but we all tried to pitch together like unity to get this boat together and we managed to make it to dry land when we did reach the land it was beautiful it was like tropical rainforest slash you know maintenance uh, somebody was keeping it you know it was like pretty you know what I'm saying real nice and pretty and the mountain ranges and clear skies and animals I looked up and I swore to you, I saw, I saw God sitting there, actually it felt like it was God, but I don't know what it was, it looked like the sun, but it wasn't the sun, and then it wasn't God, but it was God, but it wasn't, and when I mean the sun, I mean the sun that shines in the sky, not Jesus, the sun, and I just went straight down and started praying, and you know, like a kind of like a, you know, a, a way that you would just bow down kind of in prayer, but literally down in, you know, remission, just giving it all up, you know. person next to me actually did it too, and that's when the dream had ended. I had another dream, which kind of goes with this one because I was on another boat, and Jesus was in front of me, and he was looking at everybody, because everybody was on this boat too, a lot of people. And it seems like this boat was fancy, beautiful, like precious wood, you know, it was just really a lot of money went into making the boat. Everybody was paying attention to the boat and it was just like they were looking and trying to expect something or something. I don't know what it was. But I looked at Jesus, you know, and he was in the process of doing something and I saw from his hand it was like a tornado, but inside the tornado was fire, water, lightning and just the power of God I guess and it went towards this thing and it closed it or I don't understand what it did but it did something and it closed something we was in somewhere else with a lot of water no empty I mean it was like emptiness and no boundary no horizon it was just constant water everywhere and I didn't you know so we're on this boat and Jesus, I looked at him, you know, when he finished, and he looked at me, and he had a really angry look in his eyes, like, wow, look at these people, 
wow, like you can just tell somebody's upset, but they try and pretend like they're not too, but not pretending. So we head towards this like kind of cathedral slash gazebo. It's like a piece of thing sticking in the water. It's like an island, but it wasn't. It was like a gazebo, a little house or something. And when we got inside, the inside was really, really old. It was all kind of made out of rock. And the boat, this, the boat was huge, okay? And it was really good looking and everything. And everybody was like, what's going on, you know? And when we get inside, <laughs> that's the train, by the way. When we get inside, it's like a waterfall. And be, the boat kind of goes towards the waterfall, but it doesn't go over. It stops with like half of it hanging off. And it just went in the air and jumped and bah, like, just hit the water, just jumped up off the water came back down hard and everybody went flying off the boat me too me too I went I went flying off the boat and I landed in this water at the bottom where the waterfall was at the end it was dirty it felt like a well like a nasty well but it wasn't scary it was see, I could see people I got up and I, I I found a little place to like stand and I look up and it seemed like there were layers, like f different floors going up, like two or three of them that were open, you know, like Colosseum, Roman Colosseum. I think there were things there, but at the top, very top, I saw God and Jesus. But God was in a representation of, like, the devil's advocate, you know, like, God sitting up, or, or what's the other movie, um, Joan of Arc, where God was there and he was in the robe and he was tor not tormenting her, but he was, you know, trying to test her. He was like that, standing next to Jesus on the top level, and he was looking down. And then I looked back at the people, and it was kind of like melting. But at the same time, I was waiting for something good to happen. Like, they were going to drop the flesh off their bones, and next thing you know, the whole body was going to be reborn or something. But it's like the water just got really, really quiet. And all I saw were bones. I didn't see demons, no demons, no nothing, just on floating on water and then I look up and I, I, God my version of God in my dream this time said and it is done and I, I don't know what that meant uh, it could be saying to me you know the first boat got unity people together love we wasn't going towards the Jerusalem we was going towards somewhere else and we went towards land and we found like a version of Eden and God was there watching us the whole time. He was like the sun. He was the sun, but he wasn't. He was in the sun, but he wasn't in the sun because he was the sun. <laughs> and the second dream, you know, the people, they were looking to be saved and they expected something. and They were not paying attention to what Jesus was doing, to, to what his hands were doing, to his look in his eye, his anger. And... They all died. And that boat was fancy. It was beautiful. But nobody was paying attention to anybody else but the boat. And they all died. Yeah.